This is uh, how we build our wood pile every year. Uh, primarily use red oak because it's dead because of the Dutch elm disease. Constantly able to renew itself, amazingly. Uh, and some locusts. Uh, use a lot of scrap wood, try to use as much of the tree as we can. And that helps in building the stack, spacing small and big pieces to get airflow through it. Um, in this case, you can see that the stack, well, you can't see it, but it's one big long stack that's in the east to west. That's the part you can't see. And um, if I cut in June dead wood, standing dead wood, I can get it dry by November easy. And uh, part of that has to do with the east-west orientation. It's a huge solar panel. Also, we have to keep the wood dry. If you dry, have dry wood and you get three inches of rain on it, you're basically starting over. So you have to be very conscious of keeping the wood dry. And to do that, um, one of the things we do is we uh, cover it with a metal roof in the summertime. Uh, basically, a roof is put on top of it to keep it uh, dry while it's acting as a solar panel. And... Um, Basically, underneath the, the metal itself, this is the cheap, like, $9 a sheet sheet metal you get at the roofing sheet metal you get at the Home Depot. Uh, scrap yards have it because the mismatched pieces are cheaper than that. Uh, put a longer pieces of board down, like um, 2x10s, to scrap anything. Uh, kind of put a, a line on it. Uh, basically, try to get it as a slope as possible so that the water will run off once you get the roofing on there. And um, string it. Like I said, use the scrap wood, smaller pieces, flat pieces, whatever you need to, to, to basically uh, straighten it out and get a good line on it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, and then after you do that, you put the sheet metal on top, screw it together. If you get your pitch right, drains off, not a problem. And uh, later on, uh, you know, once it starts getting to be October, you just simply tarp the whole thing over and pull the tarp away from the sides a little bit with some spacers that stick out on either side, and, and you're pretty much done.